rookies through the midway point of the season. And two of the top rookies are featured in tonight's Thursday night football matchup. The 49ers defensive end Nick Bosa he came in second on the list. While on the other side of the ball, Cardinals quarterback Kyler Murray is the sixth-ranked rookie this season. Raiders running back Josh Jacobs took the top spot. And the only QB higher than Kyler on the list is Gardner Minshew at five. So, Shannon, do you agree with these rankings? Nah, well, the, the, the one big uh, disagreement I have is that Nick Bosa should be number one. Yeah. I think I don't really – now, he's not only the best rookie. He's one of the best defenders in all of football as a rookie. So he should be number one. But I have no problem with Garner Minshew, be, uh, Garner Minshew, Minshew being in front of Kyler Murray. Okay. I mean, the dude has 13 touchdowns with two picks. He's four and three as a starter. Mm. I mean, what, Kyler Murray is three, four, and one. He has seven pass touchdowns, four interceptions, two rush TDs, but he has zero touchdowns in four of the last five games. Mm. Should there be even a debate there? I, I, I get it, Skip. You know, look, you don't get to be. It's not like the Lakers, Skip. The Lakers win the championship and they get to draft James Worthy number one overall. It's not like that in football. I mean, the, the, the New England Patriots doesn't win the Super Bowl and get the draft number one overall, Skip. Mm. So normally, if mm. you're the number one overall pick, what do you expect? Yep. To go to a bad team. This is a bad team. The offense, and this is why I said, Skip, he's going to struggle because their offensive line is terrible. You don't leave the best offensive line and go to the worst offensive line and expect to have the same level of success. It's not like he's loaded with skill position players. David Johnson can't stay healthy. Now the running back that had the great game against the Giants, he's hurt. They had they traded for I think uh, Drake uh, I think they traded yeah, on Drake. They did. They traded for him. Mm -hmm. But Skip, they're a bad football team. And Kyler right now, <clears throat> he doesn't have the capabilities to overcome a bad offensive line and the lack of talent at the skill positions. So I have no problem with the ranking. Minshew should be. And right now, um, if they were to vote, if the vote was today, offensive rookie of the year, Josh Jacobs or Minshew would win that award. Mm. Kyler Murray would not, would not even get a vote. Mm. Josh Jacobs has been outstanding than I thought he would. Mm -hmm. And he's in a perfect spot where John Gruden would love to just run it down your throat. That's right. what he does best. Right. So I got you on that. But this is, once again, where you and I part ways because I still say the quarterback position is far harder to play than edge rusher. Yeah. So edge rusher works because he's really working. But that line is loaded with top picks. Mm -hmm. So... He's getting more single coverage than some would in another circumstance where you went to right. a really bad football right. team and you had three people blocking you right. at one time. I don't think three people are blocking him. Right. He's a rookie and it's like, okay, you got to take him one-on-one. -on -one. He's a rookie. He's a rookie. Hmm. Listen, what Kyler Murray has done as a rookie quarterback in this league is extraordinary. And I give you Gardner Minshew. But Gardner Minshew's team, I think you would agree, is considerably better yeah. than Kyler's team. Yeah. You said it. Kyler Murray is 3-4-1. and one. Mm -hmm. Did I think they'd be 3-4-1 and one right now? I didn't. I, I feared it would be 0-8 oh right now because mm -hmm. you looked down that schedule, and I think you thought, I don't know if they can win a game, mm -hmm. right? So they tied Detroit on opening day at home. Was that good? Detroit's yeah. pretty good, right? Yeah. Yeah. So they did, and, and Kyler was pretty good that day. And then he goes to Baltimore in his second start and first road start, and he played them straight up even. It, it went down to the wires, 23-17. to 17. He threw for 349 that day, but he took the L. So then they, they lost to Carolina, and they, Carolina's got a good defense, and it was hard on, on him mm -hmm. that day, but he played like a rookie. He played really like a rookie against Seattle, but almost got them back in that game. Then here he comes. He goes to Cincinnati and wins, and he beats a bad Atlanta team, but he still beat them. And then he went up and won at the Giants. These are not highly impressive wins until you think, he doesn't have much help. He's throwing to Larry Fitz, who's on his, sort of, so to speak, last yeah, legs, he, right? He's he on that school in Mexico. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He's going there, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so what they, they can't protect him, and yet he doesn't turn the ball over and keeps them afloat in almost every game. Mm -hmm. At New Orleans, he actually played pretty well. And I've told you, for a, a young quarterback especially, that's the hardest building to play in against yeah. that defense. It's so quick and fast with such a hellacious pass rush. It's hard to survive there, and he threw for 220. He did not turn the ball over. So what does pro football focus say about Kyler? He has the second lowest percentage of turnover-worthy plays in the whole NFL. Well, 
for a rookie, as it says here, that's an impressive feat. When you give him, you, you also have to give him props for what he doesn't do. Right. Right? But he the, does not turn the ball over. But in order to get touchdown skips, sometimes you're going to have to put the ball in harm's way. So that tells me that he's been either they're calling plays cautiously or he's being overprotective of the football, which means you can skip. You got to throw the football down the field. You got to put it in harm's way. Okay. You got to. But, but again, with this team and that line and, and that subpar group of receivers, what are you going to do? And the running backs are both hurt now, and they had to trade for right. another one? But the thing is, Skip, their defense is not good enough to lock okay. you down, and All you right. win a 10-7 ten, a okay. ball game, a 13-10 ball game. They're not that good, so you got to score points. Man, I honor the fact that he is not coming completely apart. No. We see most of them just come apart, right? Daniel Jones, which, what's been his problem? He starts to turn the ball yeah. over. Yeah. And usually all the young star quarterbacks, their first year, they just turn it over like madmen, right? Right. Okay, well, he's not. So, to me, he's had the best rookie year. Given the degree of difficulty, I just, how can you not love what he's doing? Uh, Skip, I, I mean, what am I supposed, I mean, seven touchdowns with four interceptions? What you call him, almost doubled him up with okay. two few INTs. He is top ten in QBR, Kyler Murray. He is ninth in QBR. Mm -hmm. That's extraordinary. Yeah. For a first-year guy with little to no help because he was the first pick in the draft to a bad team. Right. Really. Darn him into. Okay, but, but what about... Is his coach a quote-unquote liability? Maybe a little bit because his coach has never coached in the NFL and lost his job coaching in college football because well, he went 26 Now, I would give you that if that was Freddie K. <laughs> but, but Cliff Kingsbury has been a head coach for like six years. So he understands the ins and outs, the intricacies of, of being a head coach. In Lubbock, Texas. Yeah, but that's what's good. You Lubbock. still got to yeah. set schedules. Yeah. So he's used to setting schedules and when we're going to leave and meeting times where the other guy – Okay. Had no idea. But think about yeah. the target painted on Kyler's back because his head coach because. is known as one of those college sort of run and shoot guys, yeah. right? Yeah. So he's bringing his, high, you know, newfangled, mm -hmm. high octane college offense in. How many defensive players have said, we're going to show Cliff Kingsbury how his offense works <laughs> at this level? Am I right? Skip, I just think he, I, I just think he hasn't been great. He's been up and down. And I think Gardner Minshew... I don't think he's been down. He's been up occasionally, and then he's just been ordinary, yeah. which is still pretty good. He has zero touchdown passes in four of his last five games. Okay. I, I think touchdown passes are overrated. Do they score points and win yeah, games? Yeah, that's how you get them quick. Okay. Well, they just won three in a row. As a rookie quarterback on the worst, what we thought was going to be the worst team in pro football, he won three straight games. You don't think that makes you the... No, no, we, we already knew Miami was going to oh. be the worst because they got the number one yeah. pick, and they traded for the guy that helped them get the number one pick. <laughs> oh. Josh Rosen. That's so we knew that, and, and Fitzpatrick, you already know how that's going to turn out. Okay. Skip. Has Josh Jacobs changed life in Oakland? No. No. But, I mean, you know, they're, I mean, they, they had some opportunities to win some games. They were, they were in, that game last week was theirs for, for the taking. Mm. And Deshaun Watson just, big, just was Deshaun Watson, and you know what happened, Skip. Mm. But I, I just think, look, I'm not saying that with some help, but I fought them because, you know you need offensive line help, and you don't select an offensive lineman, I don't think, until the fourth or the fifth round. Mm. But you go out and get these shiny new toys. You draft the receivers and DBs. You better get that guy somebody that's going to protect the guy. Mm. That's the money. That's, that's like that's, 30, that's $34 million right there. And you got cashiers. You ain't got no security guard. Okay, so tonight, that guy, number 97, is going to get <laughs> unleashed on that little guy, yep. right? Yep. yep. And it's going to be probably a long night for Kyler, but I will bet you at home on national TV – I will bet you he'll keep them in the game. You do? Yep. They're 10 point, the San Francisco by 10. Okay. Nine of covering. Yeah. I'm you looking think so? Forward to Easily? The covering. Yeah. They're going to they get after him, Skip. That defense is for real. They, they built that defense for real. Buckner and, and Bosa and Thomas. Thomas is like the third pick in the draft, and he's a rotational guy. You saw what they did to the boy genius at, <laughs> at LA, to Sean McVay. They, yeah. just, they annihilated him. Yes. I just think Kyler will, will stand tall tonight. And you realize the Rams do, I mean, Cooper Cup is playing out of his mind right now. Yeah. And they got receivers now, Brandon Cooks, they have, you know, yeah. and Woods, and they shut him down mm. in LA. This is a fun one tonight. Mm. I'm looking forward to mm. it. And you know Nick Bosa. Nick Bosa says, I should have been the number one overall pick. Okay. Now, he, Skip, you know he's going into the show. There's a this, little of that. This is what you could have had. Well, yes. he tried to show Baker, yeah. playing a flag on Baker. I was just thinking well. if there's any extra beef there, considering Kyler and Baker, their relationship, Kyler wanting to get, I don't know, I maybe a little history. So. He just want to be number one. One yeah. versus two. I mean, Skip, it's always, I mean, one versus two, there's always... I, well, I need to show you yeah. why I went number one. Number two says, I'm going to show you why I should have been number mm -hmm. one.
So we've got the undersized guy versus the guy we all feared would get hurt a lot. Mm. It's quite the dynamic. He did say, I am in the right place in the right defense. That is what Bosa said when asked about that. the one versus yeah. two. That's like a thank you, God, for that one. <laughs> that is working.